The man accused of killing Smith had frequent run-ins with law enforcement. New at 10, KCCI's Chris Gothner dug into Michael Lang's criminal record. I also spoke to a man who says he's a friend of Lang's. He says first and foremost, he's sad for Sergeant Smith and his family. He says he feels torn over this. He was known to local officers, yes. Well before investigators say 41-year-old Michael Lang shot and killed Iowa State Patrol Sergeant Jim Smith Friday, court records show numerous charges and convictions, many boiling down to one thing, alcohol, including multiple public intoxication charges and a second offense OWI conviction. He was also accused of second-degree burglary in 1999, a charge later reduced to operating a vehicle without consent. His most recent charge came on April 1st when he was accused of trespassing at a Grundy Center bar. I spoke over the phone Sunday with a man who says he's a longtime friend of Lang's, stunned over what happened. When I found out this morning, I was so mind-blowing. What the hell happened? I couldn't even been here and have any words to speak. The man spoke to us on the condition that he remain anonymous. He says Lang has had alcohol issues, but they don't define him. When he is sober, he's a Really, really nice, sweet guy. I'd do anything in the world for you. Something didn't click right or something and didn't get help that he needed or something. I don't know. But the Mike I know would never do that. Never in a million years. The man says he's torn over what happened first for the family of Sergeant Smith, but also for Lang and his family. He screwed up. I will not deny that. He needs to pay his price for what he did. But I don't want people to think he's a monster because he is not. At last check, Lang was in critical condition at the University of Iowa Hospital in Iowa City after law enforcement returned fire and shot him multiple times. He now faces a first-degree murder charge as well as a $1 million cash bail. In downtown, Chris Gothner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. It took law enforcement more than four hours to get Michael Lang into custody. Here's a timeline of the investigation from the Iowa State Patrol. It all started at 722 on Friday night. Grundy Center police tried to stop Lang, but he wouldn't pull over. The State Patrol says Lang sped outside town, stopped and got out of his car. Investigators say he yelled, shoot me several times grabbed the Grunny Center officer's taser and put him in a chokehold. A Grunny County deputy responded to that scene and Lang drove off, ending up at his home in Grundy Center, starting the standoff. At 855, more than an hour and a half after this all began, law enforcement got inside Lang's home, and that's when Sergeant Smith was shot. Lang barricaded himself inside, and at 1150, the beginning of the end, the state patrol used an armored vehicle to bust into the home. Lang started shooting officers, returned fire, hit him and took Lang into custody. The investigation is just beginning and Iowa's news leader will stay on top of it every step of the way from Sergeant Smith's burial to the criminal case against Lang. You can stay with KCCI 8 News for continuing coverage.